What what was your first junior engineering job? How did you get it? Um, so my first junior engineering job, uh, you know, as a full time uh, uh, engineer, was the jobs I described as um, um, the Yahoo position as a back end engineer and the indie game um, for Counter Strike. But I had done other, or I had done other like full time internships before. Um, I had done a game a internship as a game developer for an educational company. Um, my junior year of college, I had done an internship with Dell, um, working on servers. My senior year of college, so uh, there was, you know, I definitely worked prior, and I had, you know, I've had many other jobs. Um, that were, you know, non-software engineering. So my first, like, professional software engineering job, um, you know, was was probably Yahoo, but, uh, yeah, there was, there was other things along the way before that. How, how did you get the first job? Um, Yahoo or just any of them? Uh, any. Um, so the, the first job I got this, the, was yeah, the was one... Yeah, experience. Yeah, so the first job I got, the first internship, I'll say, yeah. was the one that I got. And I got that one um, because I participated in a hackathon at UC Santa Cruz. And I ended up competing by myself. And I made, um, I had a mentor, so let me not like take all the credit here, who helped me very much. Um, but I competed by myself and... Um, I made a, a very basic educational game, um, but it was essentially a demonstration of a you know, potential product, um, where I was teaching kids like bio, biology through a very you know, basic gamified um, way, in a basic gamified way. And so um, I got an award for that particular um, hackathon, and you know, at the award ceremony I was able to speak and these kinds of things, and I kind of told... Um, the whole crowd, my ambitions, and there was a lot of professionals in the room, and one of them came up to me afterward and was like, we have an educational company and we would love to try to gamify um, our tool, you know, our, our uh, platform, and we would love to hire you for an internship. And I was like, absolutely. And so I started while I was in school, so I just, you know, did it along with classes, and then when the summer came around, I worked full time, um, you know, through the whole summer, and uh, that was a great experience as well. And that was a very small startup. That was about just three people. At one point, it was just two people. So it was, uh, but it was awesome. Again, one of those things where, you know, I, it was the first time I had, a you know, a shipped game on my resume. So. Are hackathons open to everybody? Um, hackathons usually are open to everybody. I think um, even when they're like for a particular school, people from not you know who aren't from that school can go. Um, you know, hackathons are hosted all the time by different companies and organizations. So um, hackathons are one of the easiest ways to get um, you know something on your resume that says that you know not only do you know how to program, but you know how to work with other people. And, you know, you know how to work in a high-intensity situation. So, um, and of course, like I mentioned, it's a great networking opportunity because, again, I got a job from it. So, highly, highly, highly recommend hackathons. Um, and now, a lot of them are virtual. So, you can attend even if you're not local. Uh, you told me that you started uh, programming when you were uh, the second year of the college. Uh, when was the hackathon you participated um, participate? I participated in the hackathon that same year. So I oh, had wow. started programming that August, maybe, and I participated that January. So, so I did not so know that. a lot. I and I on, on, at, on top of that, so I, that was the first time I'd taken my first programming class that fall. On top of that, I did not know how to program in JavaScript at all. Never had in my life, and. Again, that mentor I was talking about, he taught me JavaScript on the spot, and that's what I coded my game in. Interesting. Yeah. So, that's why I'm saying hackathons are great, and that's also why I say do not think that you have to wait till you're some awesome, yeah. amazing programmer before you can get some resumes uh, or put some projects on your resume and you know put yourself out there to even you know do some work as a software engineer. Yeah, I think a lot of people are scared to go there, but uh, you 
told me that there are a lot of beginner in there, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And that's the thing about hackathons is, you know, I think half of, you know, the hardest part is really just showing up <laughs> and, you know, putting yourself out there. Um, because, you know, once you do, you realize that usually there's a ton of people who are willing to help you. And um, one thing, I mean, one thing about it is even if you aren't comfortable programming necessarily, there's other things you can do, right? Some, you know, a lot of the times people who aren't programmers go to hackathons and they act as, um, you know, they'll just do the UI, who, and maybe they'll just do UI design, I mean, not like programming, they'll just do UI design, or they'll, um, you know, come up with, you know, the business plan for their pitch, right? So all kinds of stuff, and, you know, they just come and they contribute, and, you know, you learn a ton, again, whether or not you're the programmer, you know, some kind of amazing programmer, or you've had 10 years of experience, again, you can go with, you know, three months like I did, and you'll maybe even get a job like I did. So. Yeah, that's good to know. 